up ladies and gentlemen starting off today's vlog in a pretty good mood you guys want to know why i am in such a great mood well, i'll tell you so guess what i got so last night one of my employees he tells me hey austin a regular came in dropped off this mod and this mod i have been waiting for a long time for just because i have the two other versions of this mod so i am pretty excited before i show you guys that Stay tuned for this video because in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire vape collection. So you guys have that to look forward to. And then tomorrow, I just need to get a bottle and then I can do this video perfectly. It's a video I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm not going to say just yet what it is. You guys will have to wait till tomorrow's video, but it feels good. We got three days of straight or straight uploads planned. What I've been doing lately is at night, I'll sit there, think of video ideas, and write them down. So I have a bunch of video ideas, and every day I wake up, look at what videos I want to do, and then I go from there and decide what video I want to post that day. But this is something you guys have been asking me for a while on TikTok, is to show my collection, so that's what the video is going to be today. Um... But I'm going to show you guys this one right now because I'm actually pretty excited. So if you guys remember, a couple, I want to say it's been a couple weeks now, I bought a what's called a Loss Vape Centaurus. It's a DNA 250cc mod. Absolutely love that mod. Well, I had the one before it, but issues happened and a whole story behind it happened with it. So I ended up losing it. Well, I got the one before it back because a regular, he had one. And he's a good regular. I've told him multiple times if he's ever looking at selling the mod, I will buy it from him. Well, he ended up just giving it to me. And that mod is a Paranormal DNA 250cc. And let me just tell you, this mod is beautiful. I absolutely love the DNA chips. Anything Lost Vape produces is one of my favorites, excluding the Geek Vape. Because it's hard to tell which one I love more, Lost Vape or Geek Vape. They're both really great companies. But to have this Paranormal back is really, really exciting. Just for the fact, I like I said, I had one before. I absolutely loved the mod. So with that being said, I got that. It's I, I'm stoked. So now I have the Paranormal, the Centaurs, and the Quest. So, yeah, I'm really happy. It is a little beat up, but at the same time, it saved me from having to buy another one. And if the dude who gave it to me is watching this, shout out to you, dude. You are a legend. This will go up on the shelf and just sit there and look pretty. But I'm going to give you guys a little close up on the device. So this is the device right here. Man, this lighting is terrible. So this is the device right here. And I like it. I like the carbon fiber look on it. Just everything about this mod, I absolutely love. Like I was saying before, I love the DNA chip. I love the way this mod hits. I love the boost setting on it. So it's got boost. It's got replay on it. So if you hit a puff and you're like, man, that was a good hit. I want to do that hit again. You can put it on replay and get that same exact puff over and over and over again. So I am super stoked to have this mod. It is definitely going up on the shelf. So, when I get home, I will show you guys that. But for today, really not much planned. Might be going out to dinner tonight. It is Kathy's birthday, so we're going to be going over, hanging out with them. Might be going out to dinner. I'm not 100% for sure yet. But I just had to show you guys that because I, I, it made my day in all reality. Let me tell you guys how my day is going right now because it is a good day. Outside of the fact I had a tweaker come in and asked me for $35 and I think that is the same tweaker looking at my car. Is this dude trying to get into my car? You guys might see me beat a tweaker's ass on video. What is going on right here? Is he asking someone for money? I think that's exactly what he's doing is asking someone for money oh yeah that's what he's doing sorry he was crowd up on my car acting really sus so he was trying to break into my car you guys would have seen me beat a tweaker's ass 
But that same tweaker tried asking me to give him $35 out of my till and he would come back and pay me. And I was like, dude, no, come on. I'm not stupid. I know you're going to take that money, either go buy drugs or go buy something else. And I'll never see that money again and then I will lose my job. So, yeah. But let's get on with the rest of the video. Sorry, I'm talking a little quiet. It is pretty laid out. Um... But I need to finish filming this video, so this is the part you guys have been waiting for. My entire vape collection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys them. And then I'm going to pull out my top 10 favorite mods out of my collection. And I have, I want to say, 52 mods. So let's dive right into it. You guys ready? 3, 2, 1. Here is... My entire collection. I have so many. There's some down below there. Then I have these two. This one I love the rose gold on. And then I have all my bottles of juice. So yeah, I'm going to pull out 10 of them. This was my very first mod, by the way. So I'll pull this one out real fast and just show you guys. This was my very first setup. It's a Smock Alien 220. So, naturally, I ended up buying a brand new Smock Alien 220. It is a little dusty just because it's been sitting on the shelf. And, yeah, I bought a brand new one just so I have one of my very first setup. Obviously, the tanks are different, but... Yeah, with that being said, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so I got them all sorted by the top 10 out of my collection. So let's jump into it. At number 10, we have none other than this guy. My Smock Alien 220. This is easily in the top 10. Run-wise, it's not really the best. But I do love this device because this was my very first setup, like I said. So I have a love for the Alien 220. At number 9, we are going to have the Smock Morph 2. And the reason why this is in my top 10 is because of the TFV-18 tank. It is a phenomenal tank. Amazing flavor, amazing cloud production. I hands down love this tank. And the device itself is amazing. Amazing battery life. It lasts forever with this mod. Um, at number 8, we will have my Drag X by Vupu. This is my current daily runner. This is what I'm currently using right now. Um, I like this mod because it's small, compact, not really huge, easy to use. And all in all, it hits pretty well, especially if you get the right coil in it. It is a phenomenal setup. And then I'm going to have the Geek Vape Aegis X. And this guy, I honestly love how it hits. I love the mod. The Zeus tank is such a phenomenal tank with the top airflow. This is easily in my top 10. I'm not really a big fan of the display, but the way it hits is phenomenal. Okay, so next up, we are going to have my double barrel V2 on with a Valerian V1. And this setup I honestly love. I love this device. I love that it's a metal device, not a plastic device like these others. It hits super amazing. The wattage control, I love the design on it. I love that this is how you control the wattage. Um, yeah, I just knocked that over, which that leads me <laughs> into my top five. So this is going to be my Revenant Cartel. This is such a beautiful device. I ended up throwing, throwing the service tank on it just because it didn't have a tank and I wanted to throw a tank on top. But this mod is absolutely gorgeous. I love the purple resin with the gray. This mod is phenomenal. And at number four, we are going to have this Geek Vape Aegis Legend. And this mod lives up to its name. The way it hits, the way it feels, it, this mod is, I swear, indestructible because I've put it through the ring gear and back. And I cannot destroy this mod. 
Um, the tank on top is a Sakers tank. I do like this tank just for the fact it's kind of like the Zeus with the top airflow and the way it hits is almost very similar to it. The only thing I like better than the Sakers versus the Zeus is this has a bigger coil and I feel like it has a lot more wider airflow with it. So, yeah. Now we are going to get into my top three. Next up, we are going to have the Lost Vape uh, Thelema Quest. I hands down love this mod. I love this mod for the way it hits and it reminds me very similar of the Paranormal and the Centaurus, which I have both. And Lost Vape products, they are amazing. I love how their mods hit. I love how they work. On top of it, we do have another Zeus tank because I do love this tank. So yeah, this setup I hands down love. Coming in at number two and one, because these two mods take place for first place, it is going to be my Paranormal and my Centaurus. These mods are absolutely phenomenal. The way they hit, I love the DNA 250cc chips in them. These mods, there's nothing bad I can say on them. I love how they have a boost setting, and like I said earlier in this video, they both have a setting, so if you like to hit and you took a hit and you want to redo that hit, it has a replay setting on it, and on top of that, it has a boost setting. There is so much you can do with these devices, and I honestly love them more than anything. So, yeah. That's my top 10 out of my collection. Um, I'm going to go over with you guys what else I got that I didn't really review. So, what else I got... I'm going to have a brand new L200 Champagne Gold. This mod is phenomenal. I'm going to have a brand new V Fang and a brand new Profile RDA. Uh, I believe this is a V2, but that is such a great RDA. And then this mod, my brother in law ended up giving to me. It's an Inakin. It's a dope little mod. I've never really heard anything on it. And I can't find coils for it, but once I do, I will do a review with this mod, because I do like how small it is. I am going to have another Aegis Legend behind it, and my Alien, and then I'm going to have this Monstrosity. This is a Tesla Vape, and this guy is honestly amazing. The tank on top is a decent tank. Just everything about this mod, I absolutely love. And then I'm going to have a silver L200 back there, another Aegis X, a original Aegis. So this was the first mod Geek Vape came out with in the Aegis line. It's a single 26650 battery. And this thing is monstrous. And then I'm going to have another Morph 2 and a GX24, but I don't have the back to it. Because I ended up finding that mod in a dumpster. Um, so, yeah. This is just pretty much more of my collection. I would go over them, but we would be here forever. If you guys want a more detailed video on my collection, I will go over every single mod and let you guys know what I think of them. But I figured at least do my top 10 out of my collection. And then over here, this is just all my juice. A bunch of it is samples that companies have sent me and whatnot but yeah this is my entire collection when it comes to pod systems my um vupu uh v throw pod is an amazing pod system i love those two then i'm gonna have a novo 2 and a novo 3 and then i'm gonna have the new acro pod and then i'm also going to have a purge ally pot system and then a brand new x force that i have not used i took it out of the package so it could sit on the shelf but yeah most of these mods are brand new i barely use them most of them i just buy just to put in the collection and put on the shelf so like this guy right here will never get used same with that V-Fang. These two will never be touched. Never have a set of batteries through them. So, yeah. But this is my entire collection. But, alright guys. I'm going to get ready to end this video here. 
I'm sorry if this video wasn't really entertaining and I know I'm not talking as loud as I usually do. Like I said, it is pretty late. When I got off work, I ended up going over to Stan's to drop off something at his house and I didn't get back till super late, but I promised you guys that I would give you this video tomorrow and I always try and deliver on my promise. But with that being said, I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. Looks like I'm going to be working a double at work tomorrow, so tomorrow's going to be a work vlog. But with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.